meet a really strange character in here. There's some really good dialogue. And he will give us the key to meet the necromancer. And all you have to do is uh, kill him. The necromancer, that is. Obviously, you don't kill the dude here. He's, he's too nice. Crypt Keeper. After you finish his dialogue, you just explore the mausoleum. Who goes there? Are you the one responsible for all that racket? People here are trying to rest in peace, damn it. You'll have to forgive them. They're a little disoriented. Waking up like this is like coming out of a thick fog you've been wandering through for days on end. Dulls your senses, clouds your mind. Terrible for coordination. I know everything that happens here. If you're looking for some juicy gossip, Becca from the third row south still has no idea where her husband is. They were supposed to be buried together, you see, but he never showed up. The scoundrel. Everyone here thinks he got remarried and chose to rest with his second wife. Not me. I think he probably got eaten. Oh. That would be Master. He's been at his experiments again, I'm afraid. Getting the folks around here all agitated. Putting them back to sleep again is going to be such a chore. It might be. Huh. Do you think it's odd that I don't seem to know that? Maybe I forgot. My memory is not what it used to be. Master is master. He commands the dead. I don't know much else. I'm here to serve, not to ask questions. Dunno. Usual. Glowing chalk, candles and dead bodies. I even saw some new faces recently, but they didn't stay long. He promised to bring back my family. Truth be told, it's been so long that I'm not sure it's even possible anymore. But I'm happy where I am. The dead need company too, you know. The folks here were forsaken by the living. At least I can make sure they're not lonely. You want me to betray his trust that easily? We barely know each other. I wouldn't tell you even if I could. Interested in local history, are you? Good, good. The memory of those who came before us should be preserved. I can let you in. There is a small fee of five gold coins, for the upkeep of the cemetery, of course. It's constant work, as you can clearly see, and my petitions for additional funds seem to have fallen on deaf ears. Bless you, kind stranger. <sighs> Those old bones are not what they used to be. Here, just take the key. Be careful, though. There's evil dwelling in those crypts. Oh, and I hope I don't need to remind you not to rob any graves. It's terribly rude, and I'd rather not deal with the complaints. You have two options here, you can either talk nicely to him, or you can kill him. Here are the two options that I chose. But obviously I killed him. Me? Of course not. Slafter would be at least 300 years old. Why would you even ask that? Stop. What I am doing here is very important. Besides, 
I'm hardly hurting anyone. Anyone important, that is. Ah, oh, fine, fine, I'll leave. Avalon is a vast land. I'm sure I'll find somewhere else miserable enough. Careful there! Try not to step in the array. It's, it's advanced magic. Very fragile. Very well. Do you know what I like most about the dead? They don't tire, and they don't feel pain. But you will. All the necromancer's gear you can head off and search unless you already bumped into him you come across a guardian a knight and uh yeah kind of a shock of this one wasn't expecting that and he will drop a really cool weapon excellent stone crack stone sword and it knocks your uh, enemies back in hilarious ways decent weapon it's quite easy to take down I wish I'd use fire arrows, but there you go. There you go, cracked stone sword. Excellent, excellent handed weapon. Have fun with that one, because it knocks them flying. It's good fun. <laughs> 